Aloha everyone and welcome to Lillian's Vegan World, where we explore the wonderful and fascinating world of ve veganism and the plant-based diet. Uh, this month uh, through to June next month, we are doing a, a donation fund drive and I ask that anyone who supports our shows here at Think Tech Hawaii, uh, click on the link below and do donate as much as you can or as little as you can, um, it's tax deductible and we would really appreciate any donation that you are able to give. So today I'm very happy to introduce my lovely guest, David Nichols, to the show. Aloha, David. Aloha. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, I've, I've been wanting to uh, have you on as a guest because your story is very interesting. Yes. I actually interviewed your partner a mm -hmm. few weeks ago on my show, right. the lovely Ryuko Miura-san. Yeah. Uh, she was amazing and I was very interested to hear that you are also vegan yes. and on a plant-based diet. I would say 90, 90, about 98% vegan. So. Oh, okay. I can't say 100% but uh -huh. I try to do watch what I eat. Wow, so. awesome. So I, I have to ask, how, or how did you become vegan? Tell us a little bit about Okay, so um, again, uh, when I met Ryuko, that's mm -hmm. how I met her. Um, I was uh, more vegetarian, um, and I switched. I used, you know, I I was really overweight at one time. Um, genetics play a part of that with obesity. I mean, uh, the high blood pressure and um, diabetes, because my mom has you know, um, high blood pressure and diabetes. Mm -hmm. But um, I was very unhealthy, um, blood pressure out of the roof, the sugar level going really high, borderline diabetes. And the doctor was like, okay, we're going to give you all these meds. And I was like, I'm, I don't like taking a pill. So I asked him, is, is there any alternatives? He goes, yeah, watch your diet and get some exercise. So that's relatively it simple. sounds very easy, yeah, <laughs> right. when they put it like that. So okay. when I, I thought about it, okay, watch your diet, and then I started doing some research, and I just, um, I heard that, you know, I did some research, and I heard about, you know, I, I decided to just switch over to vegetarian food. Mm -hmm. At that time, okay. I was vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And how I met Ryuko was that she would post all these wonderful pictures of vegan. I, I didn't know what vegan was at right. that time. Um, so I asked her and I texted her, what does that mean, vegan? So she kind of broke it down for me. And that's when I was like, hmm, interesting. Um, but for me, it was, it was more of the, to be more healthy. So as I started my, I've been a vegan for about a year and a half right now, mm -hmm. which has improved my health uh, um, dramatically. Um, awesome. I'm not suffering from protein deficiency. I feel a lot better. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and yeah, I think that's the one of the biggest or you know main questions we get where you get your protein from. So yeah, that's that's a that's a really um, interesting fact because um, the beliefs that we were that was instilled with is that you're gonna die if you don't eat animal flesh, mm -hmm. um, which is animals survive on. I know there's animals that survive like cows and, and horses. They're Nice and healthy, and yes, they don't they eat herbivores. Right, yes. they don't eat. Even, their protein comes from what they eat. Yes, so yes. Why eat their protein when we can eat the same thing? So yeah, that kind directly of, from the source. And they're yeah. healthy, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so um, I started the vegetarian diet. My blood pressure started going down. I started exercising. Exercise mm -hmm. is a is a huge factor in it. Definitely, but it's mainly what you eat. Mm -hmm. Ninety percent of I would say about 85 to 90 percent is what you eat. Mm -hmm. So ha having watching what you eat plays a whole factor in the whole health. Mm -hmm. So then I got I met Ryuko, which she introduced me to veganism mm -hmm. and explained it to me, and I kind of was more curious. Mm -hmm. and well, you know what they say: the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I think I, I've seen you cause that's uh, a blessing in yeah, disguise. Yeah. So that it's it's proof proof in proof in the pudding that that is true. Um, her photos are wonderful and I'm sure she's cooking, you know, really beautiful food for you. Yeah. And that makes a difference. I think uh, that is something that definitely people who are going to transition to a vegan diet mm -hmm. must be careful of, that they don't get caught up in all the 
tasty, unhealthy vegan junk food. Oreo cookies. Yeah, Oreo, <laughs> Soda. Oreo, Oreo cookies, never heard of them in my life. No <laughs> idea what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Soda or you know, some things are, I guess they might be quote vegan, but again, it's mm -hmm. just basically watching, um, I, I, I tend to stick to more whole food. Yes, I that's what you want to yeah. do, of course, yeah. And more, um, I would rather, um, like um, when Ryuko does do her cooking, mm -hmm. um, it's or if it's somewhat processed, it's okay. it's it's home processed. Okay. So there are wow. there might be some additives, even though it's vegan. So yes. I would uh, be more health. That's you know be really cautious about what's mm -hmm. in your food. Um, yeah. Whole foods, I, I believe, are more important. On Definitely that, yeah. the whole food. Yes, plant based diet right. seems to be what studies are showing to be the healthiest. Right. Uh, diet out there basically so David how has your body changed how has your health changed since going vegan one year and a half ago yeah okay so what I did notice when I did eat meat before uh, when I was more participating in that I if I would like okay I heard you know so I would I would try the um, plant-based diet for about a week maybe mm -hmm. two weeks and I would, at the first time, it would be really difficult. Yes, it's not a walk in the park, no. I mean, to transition, to change from a typical, what, American diet to something that is really completely different. So exactly. I'm sure it must have been challenging. It was challenging, mm. but um, I just thought about, is, it's, is my health, what is more important? Um, and then I started, that's where I started exploring more. It's not just eating, you know, salads and... Right. Carrot sticks right. and celery sticks. One of the big misconceptions people have. That that's probably they think my, that, yes. <laughs> that was like, okay, like yeah. that's, that's what vegans do, and mm -hmm. that's not typically uh, true, you yeah. know. So that's where I got uh, more interested when I seen Ryuko's post. Nice. And even uh -huh. when I look at some of your stuff, I'm mm -hmm. like, that kind of makes it exciting. Go taste and uh, mm -hmm. you know, knowing that I'm eating something healthy. So. Yes, and something satisfying right. as well. Yeah. yeah. And then when I would eat, when I find out what I when I would eat a steak, mm -hmm. I'd feel lethargic, tired, um, and it, it took a lot to digest it. Um, after after a while, the first two weeks was I felt a detox kind of in my body. Right. Then I felt started feeling more energy, mm -hmm. um, a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. I wasn't more bloated, mm -hmm. um, having a more focus, and just feeling emotionally and mentally better right? other than just physically better. Yes. I, I felt exactly the same mm -hmm. when, I, uh, when I transitioned from being a vegetarian right. about 10 years ago, and then I, I fully became vegan. Not in one day. It kind of just happened naturally. but. Mm -hmm. I noticed exactly the same things. Right. And today, the title of uh, the show is actually Vim, Vigor and Vegan. Mm -hmm. So it's talking, I wanted to talk today about um, how vegans are energetic. We are not lacking in energy. Right. I think another myth or misconception that people have right. is they are, are you being asked sometimes, like, where do you get your energy from? How... You know, how do you get energy if you don't eat meat? And I'm going to say it's actually, it works a, a different way where I would say that vegans are more energetic because we, as you mentioned, we don't have to spend all that time digesting food that's staying right. in our gut for days at a time like meat, you know. So it's, it, it does uh, go through your, you know, digest through your body quickly and right. you don't get that downer that, that you get I think when you eat animal products yeah because so like when crush. I would when I would eat like um, especially red meat mm -hmm. it would affect I would I, I, I didn't know the difference until I really um, tried the transition mm -hmm. to just okay I'll just do it for two weeks right. and then when I did eat meat I didn't feel good and I, I've noticed a difference mm -hmm. I, and I, I said okay that and then that's what encouraged me more to start you know the vegetarian diet mm -hmm. But then when I would drink milk, it would bother me too. Ah, I'd the dairy. I'd get gassy and then right. bloated and well, you, that, that's lethargic. A sign, right. Yeah. That's a sign that you may be lactic intolerant. Yeah. Lactose intolerant, sorry. Yeah, there yeah. are different um, yeah. alternatives for that. Yes. 
We've um, gone, yeah, we've gone through some of those alternatives and substitutes on the show before, but dairy these days, giving up dairy is so easy. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want to do right. or if, you know, for whatever reason you want to give up the dairy because yeah. there's substitutes everywhere. Right. You can get, you know, nut cheeses, right. yogurt, any, you know, nut milks. That's one of the things I do honestly miss about vegetarian is like okay cheese but yeah uh, you know even even i guess in moderation it's yes. okay but then yeah. now they have uh, vegan cheese which is right. really good so yeah. it's even healthier for you it is all zero cholesterol that's um, that's probably the, the most worst thing that the long-term effect right. of, from those bad eating habits and it's like you can, it's hard to reverse it after mm -hmm. the fact so um, that's where it all starts from, I believe. And it mm -hmm. started off with me and I, even with some of my friends and uh, mm -hmm. doing a lot of research, I found out cardiologists say that, you know, that's, that's where it all starts from, our eating habits. Yes. So yeah, being, having a plant-based uh, protein diet and caring for your body, that's mm -hmm. where it starts. And then, then the other things are starting to come in with the compassion. I understand that I actually make a difference on what I, and it started on my plate. So. Yeah, that's, I think that, that's something that people who become vegan start to feel after, you know, after a while of mm -hmm. being on a plant-based diet that you, you become more aware of the morals that you have and right. you, know, you, become, you, you become more aware of what you're doing and what mm -hmm. you're eating, how you're affecting other li living beings, yeah. the environment. Yeah. It's a win-win situation. Yeah, it, it is. It is win-win. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then I start feeling definitely. better that I'm not contributing to any of that. Right. And um, I believe there was Hippocrates that said, you know, let thy medicine be thy food and thy food be thy medicine. Right. So if I'm participating in, mm -hmm. you know, and they say um, you are what you eat, I'm, I eat a lot of nuts, but I might be nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I know that I don't want to participate in suffering. Um, and it, and I feel better mentally and emotionally about that, yeah. and that I'm taking care mm -hmm. of my body all at the yeah, same time. Yeah, awesome, um, David. It, you, uh, your occupation. You are an abuse substance counselor. Yes, substance, counselor. Yeah. yeah, substance abuse counselor. Substance abuse counselor. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, does food play a role in the treatment of the people, the kids that you're you're working with? Um. Actually, it does because, um, you know, some, a lot of substance abuse, I guess, might stem from uh, emotional, um, you know, not mm -hmm. able to cope with some emotions. Some right. people might, um, you know, use, you know, alcohol mm -hmm. or other substances to med self-medicate. Mm -hmm. uh, coming into a treatment center, they might tend to um, not um, stop using those substances and just switch seats. And like, okay, food is okay, but it's like, what are you eating? Mm -hmm. and, um, are you eating healthy? I can just, and I'll just switch seats and find comfort from eating these foods that might give me that, you know, that comfort for the, right. that instant gratification for mm -hmm. that time. But then in the long run, it's mm -hmm. very unhealthy. Yeah. The outcome would be obesity, mm -hmm. high blood pressure, because mm -hmm. I've known clients like that too. Um, and... I, we get to work with some of that. Mm -hmm. So the emotional aspect of about the self-medicating and eating comfort foods and what you're eating, yep. um, and I kind of tell them to eat more greens, mm -hmm. which you can eat as much as you want and still eat nuggets. Awesome. Get sick. <laughs> That's it's very interesting talking to you, David. Yeah. Um, we're going to take a quick break and be back after, after the short break. See okay. you soon. Aloha. I'm Lauren Pear, a host here at Think Tech Hawaii a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of its supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you'd go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thanks so much. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. 
Aloha, I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm coming to you every other Tuesday at 2 o'clock, live from Think Tech Hawaii. And on our show, we talk about taking your health back. And what does that mean? It means mind, body, and soul. Anything you can do that makes your body healthier and happier is what we're going to be talking about. Whether it's spiritual health, mental health, fascia health, beautiful smile health, whatever it means, let's take healthy back. Aloha. Welcome back everyone to Lillian's Vegan World and today we're talking about Vim Vigor and being vegan, living on a, a plant-based lifestyle. I have my awesome guest David Nichols with me today. It's very interesting talking to you David. So I did want to talk today about this um, myth that people have about uh, vegans not having much energy. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at some photos of what you and I eat. Okay. on a daily basis. Let's have a look at the first one. Wow, David, this is what I made. It's a sushi mm -hmm. and it's meant to look like a abalone and scallops. The abalone part I made from shiitake mushrooms and the scallop part is from uh, king oyster mushrooms. Wow, looks delicious. With the mango salsa to go with it. I added wow. a bit of Hawaiian, a Hawaiian twist to this sushi. <laughs> <laughs> and there's yuba on top. Yeah, so definitely not a plain, boring salad. No. <laughs> and this is your one of your dinners, I, I believe. Yes. This looks amazing. Now, tell me about it. <laughs> okay, so that's miso soup, which um, is we uh, Ryuko uh, cooks every day. Very healthy, very tasty. Um, I believe on the top over there is with uh, it, that's the green beans with. Um, um, some hummus that she made, homemade hummus, wow. and avocado. Yum. Avocado is a good source of fat. Mm -hmm. um, the, the other the bowl on the top, that's the, that green, I mean, uh, dried daikon with some brown rice. That looks amazing. Now you're making me hungry, David. <laughs> but that is so nutritionally balanced that something like that is not going to you know, give you the crash after you eat it, certainly. No, I yeah. think that would actually energize you. Yeah. Let's take a look at the other, the next one. This is one of mine. We were talking earlier that it looks, it looks kind of like a breakfast cereal. <laughs> <laughs> we call them rice bubbles in Australia, but um, rice pups. No, it's actually uh, barley, oh, okay. and it's cooked in a spicy tomato sauce wow. with, uh, with peppers and some roasted corn and Thai basil. And at the back there, I also have green beans and tofu. Mm. I do that a lot, that comb combination a lot. Um, tofu, awesome source of protein for vegans. The other uh, dish is uh, spinach, yuba, and some noodles, a noodle dish. So that was a little dinner that I made for friends a few days ago. Mm. Wonderful. Uh, the next one, please. Oh, that Yum. is, yeah, that's uh, homemade yogurt. Made from soy. Really? Yeah. And uh, granola mm -hmm. with some, I believe that's raspberries. That was so yeah, delicious. Some blueberries, with, blackberries. Yeah. I love the, uh, the little touch with the flower. Yeah. <laughs> so homemade yogurt, that, that sounds delicious. Yeah, and I, I was surprised she been she was actually trying to you know experiment on yeah, that and that great? came out really really good. Yeah, that looks that looks that's delicious. Got, like, with some agave sauce, so Yum. agave is sub substituted for the yeah. Some people might put honey. Right. So. A, a nicer uh, su substitute for sugar, right. sweetener. Awesome. And the next one, what have we here? That's curry. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that's uh, sweet potatoes. And, uh, with um, with the, the salad on the side. Mm -hmm. that was, that's, that's a wonderful, tasty dish. Yeah. And it's very nutritious. Yeah. That, that's, it's, yeah, very it's comforting. It's like after you're done finished, you're not... You know, full like you're like, yeah. ah. Mm -hmm. So you feel more like, ah, what a meal. And you're, it, it's just fulfilling. So. Yeah, that looks wonderful. I like yeah. the little touch with the, is it figs? Figs on the side? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's um, kiwi. Maybe kiwi. Was that kiwi? Figs, yeah. Figs, figs. Oh, okay. This is, this is what I would call vegan comfort food, like a huge bowl of that yeah. after work. is yeah. just amazing. And you've got pumpkin in there as well. Yeah, pumpkin. Awesome. 
Let's take a look at the next one. Oh <laughs> yeah, that was delicious. Now I would buy that sal I would buy that sandwich. I would yeah. pay money for that. That was very, very tasty. It's avocado, mm. right? And uh, I believe very that's nice, uh, mushroom, yeah. portobello mushroom. Ah, okay. With some, um, um, what do they call it? Sprouts. Yeah, beans, and, the, the sprouts, yeah. alfalfa sprouts. Yes, some yeah. purple cabbage. Delicious. So, you know, they say eat the color of the rainbow to get the most yeah. nutrients. And this is definitely a rainbow of nutrients in a sandwich. Yeah. Wonderful. I can see why you fell in love with Yuko. Yeah. This is the kind of food she makes. <laughs> How about this one, David? Okay, that's another uh, curry mm -hmm. with um, homemade mayo, which is um, tofu and other mm -hmm. a lemon and stuff. So that the mayo, I mean, every, it just balances out everything. Mm -hmm. um, Adds a nice creaminess, yeah. uh, especially with the avocado Especially as with well. the avocado. Yeah, absolutely delicious. Yeah. So, did you bring anything in for me to taste? <laughs> <laughs> I've been experimenting on my own, like pizzas. Have you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I like to cook. I've been trying to cook breads. Mm -hmm. So, okay. that's my thing. I've been getting into baking for my hobby now. Nice. Well, as you know, I'm actually a chef, a vegan oh, okay. chef. So, I do on my YouTube channel, I have about 200 recipes that I've created. Uh -huh. And I would like to show you one. Okay. I, I chose this one for today because I think it does give you a nice energy boost. This is a good one for um, someone who is yeah, looking for a little bit of um, oomph in their day. So let's have a look at this recipe video. It's for gyoza. So this, uh, David, is gyoza, king oyster mushroom gyoza, obviously vegan. Takes about five minutes, five to ten minutes to assemble, mm -hmm. and then just 20 minutes steaming. So very easy dish and something oh, that I so eat delicious. often and enjoy, yeah. Wow. I flavor it with kombu dashi, the kelp, okay. uh, kelp stock, which is popular in Japanese uh, cooking. They're steamed in just a, a small amount of uh, sesame oil, which gives it a nice toasty flavor during the steaming process. Pinch and fold, pinch and fold. Have you made these before? Yourself? Actually, um, I'm more, I used to make them, uh, they're, they're called mandu in Korean, my mom's oh, okay. Korean, so I used to help yes. her make. But the ingredients were uh -huh. the same. Yes. A lot of bean sprouts were. Okay, so. yeah. Well, you should try <laughs> this tofu. cabbage and tofu. It mm. make, makes a really good uh, filling if you're going to do a vegan substitute. Wow, that looks so delicious. Mm. Nice. Wow. Simple, easy, a nice little vinegar sauce on the side, which is just vinegar and soy sauce and a little bit of chili oil. Oh, and it looks and it looks pretty easy too. <laughs> yes. Nice. So that is how you bake vegan gyoza, and it's it is good. All of your food looked amazing too. So I can I can say myself that after I eat uh, vegan food, I I don't get that crash. I don't feel yeah. lethargic at all after yeah. I eat. Um, so today, David, I wanted to <coughs> talk about uh, seeing as though we're we're on the topic of whether people on a plant-based diet have energy or not. I do want to talk to you about uh, something that the American Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics put out, which is the world's, world's largest organization of nutritional professionals. So they say, quote unquote, that vegan diets are suitable for all ages and appropriate for all stages of the life cycle, including pregnancy, lactation, infancy, childhood, adolescence, older ad adulthood, and for athletes. Mm -hmm. For athletes. Now, I know people are going, what? <laughs> how, do athlete, how do vegans, um, you know, perform against, you know, 
omnivores or people that eat, you know, animal products. And I do, I did come up with quite a few famous uh, vegan athletes mm -hmm. that might surprise a few of the viewers. So mm -hmm. uh, one of them is Venus Williams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she adopted a raw vegan diet after she was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease called Sjogren's syndrome. Wow. She adopted the raw, raw vegan diet, which is a very, very strict diet, obviously, meaning no cooked food. Okay, raw vegan. Raw right. vegan. Yeah. So she, yeah, she started her raw vegan diet in 2011 to relieve some of her symptoms such as extreme fatigue and joint pain and has been on the raw diet ever since, mm -hmm. raw vegan diet ever since. Another one, Carl Lewis, yeah. very famous in yeah, your, yeah. your country, adopted a vegan diet in 1990. He says, quote, my best year of track competition was the first year I ate a vegan diet. So more proof there. Here's another one that everyone is going to be surprised about. Famous boxer, yeah. a little bit on the wild side, <laughs> <laughs> uh, high voice. <laughs> yeah. Mike Tyson. Yeah, I, Mike Tyson. That's yeah. probably you know he. I believe that, that's amazing that like he's one of my. Um, he used to be one of my role models. Okay. And hearing that he did change to vegan. Yes. And I've heard, I've watched some, um, some uh, documentaries, mm -hmm. I mean, some, you know, interviews, interviews on, mm -hmm. with him and um, the reason why he turned vegan. And right. uh, I don't know, I believe probably because he didn't like the taste of human flesh <laughs> biting off the guy's ear. So <laughs> that's I'm funny. Sorry. That's, but, um, no, that's not funny. <laughs> no, that's not. It kind of, it kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Mike Tyson. Yes. There are actually mm -hmm. other like MMA mm -hmm. fighters. Um, there's even a, um, I forgot his name, a, a, a triathlete. Mm -hmm. um, he's a top triathlete. Mm -hmm. He turned. He's he's just total plant based. But, um, Incredible. Yeah, it's a amazing. Lot, yeah, a lot of them seem to be turning vegan. So Mike Tyson went vegan in 2013, yeah. Yeah. and he says, "Here's another quote." Becoming a vegan gave me another opportunity to live a healthy life. Mm -hmm. I was so congested from all of the drugs and bad cocaine, wow. I could hardly breathe. Mm -hmm. I had high blood pressure, mm -hmm. was almost dying, and had arthritis, mm -hmm. something you men mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. And once I became a vegan, all of that stuff diminished, yeah, quote, unquote. That's exactly how I feel myself. I'm, I'm, yes. And I believe it was Hippocrates. He said, let thy medicine be thy food and thy food be thy medicine. That, so. is, such a, that is such a wonderful quote, David. And it, it, I think that is why people like yourself and your girlfriend and also myself like to get out and share this knowledge with everyone because it's, it doesn't have to be a secret anymore that the plant-based diet is just, it enriches you. It makes you feel better. Uh -huh. um, even whether you want to do it full-time or not, you mm -hmm. don't have to. You can just incorporate more of this diet as a base to what you're doing now exactly. and see if it makes you feel better. Yeah. That, that makes total sense because if you yeah. don't try it, you won't know. Exactly. And so hopefully, they're like, if you are feeling like mm -hmm. if there is some health problems, mm -hmm. just give it a try. That's yes. probably the best alternative. Awesome. I didn't like taking yep. medications. Only cover the symptoms. Yep doesn't get down to the root. That's right. So, David, I thank you so much. Big mahalo for joining me on the show. You. And may I wish uh, all the mothers out there a wonderful Mother's Day and the ones who are not with us anymore. Um, ma mahalo for joining us and see you next time. Aloha.